Hi friends, today I'll be sharing a poem actually. The poem is called Seven Stanzas for Easter by John Updike. And it was shared by one of my friends, Megan, who is also a pastor. So thank you, Megan. And he goes on to talk all about the resurrection. So let's listen in. Make no mistake, he says, if he rose at all, it was as his body. If the cell's dissolution did not reverse, the molecule re-knit, the amino acids rekindle, the church will fall. It was not as the flowers, each soft spring recurrent. It was not as his spirit in the mouths and fuddled eyes of the eleven apostles. It was as his flesh, ours. The same hinged thumbs and toes, the same valved heart that pierced, died, withered, paused, and then regathered out of enduring might, new strength to enclose. Let us not mock God with metaphor, analogy, sidestepping, transcendence, making of the event a parable, a sign painted in the faded credulity of an earlier age. Let us walk through the door. The stone is rolled back. Not paper mache, not a stone in a story, but the vast rock of materiality that in the slow grinding of time will eclipse for each of us the wide light of day. And if we have an angel at the tomb, make it a real angel, weighty, with Max Planck's quanta, vivid with hair, opaque in the dawn light, robed in real linen, spun in a definite loom. Let us not seek to make it less monstrous for our own convenience, our own sense of beauty, lest awaken in one unthinkable hour, we are embarrassed by the miracle and crushed by the remonstrance. I always find that poem to be particularly powerful as we approach Holy Week. So I hope it was for you too. Blessings. Bye-bye.